to five when every second counts. Knowing who to contact can make all the difference. The Anderson County Coroner's Office has just announced a new database collection that will help them contact the next of kin faster. Our Maya Payton is joining us live in Anderson County this afternoon to explain how this works. Maya. This information card could be the difference between your family finding out about your death within minutes versus hours or even days. This is a part of an initiative to provide the county coroner's office with as much information as possible. And so far, over 100 residents have submitted theirs. Communication between the Anderson County Coroner and families usually happen when someone passes away. Currently, the office uses tools such as medical records or utilize FBI or SLED to identify and notify the next of kin. This avenue here speeds up the process. We've had some delays in notifying family members because uh, we didn't have a next of kin and we had to, you know, do a little bit more uh, investigative work for that and, uh, you know, we we work hard to minimize that. There's grief in that too. A lot of hurt whenever it takes days to make that notification. So it's very important that we, you know, make contact as quick as possible. Most residents I spoke to were interested in filling out the form. I think it's very important, especially, you know, the elderly. It's my concern mostly overall because, you know, they have some that their family live out of state and it'd be easier to access. I, I think it couldn't hurt to do it. Others, not so much. I think I can see the direction that they may want to be going in, but nowadays we have apps on our phones. There's a lot of family tracking. We all have accessibility to that. Technology has moved us far beyond this piece of paper, and therefore I, I still stand firm saying I don't think the county needs that information about me. The coroner using the form to spark conversations among families on funeral arrangements. I honestly don't even have it planned out myself. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gives you the second thought like, okay, so what happens when something happens to me? There's a lot of families or the younger generation that believe that their loved ones are going to be here forever and that's not the case. So at least they'll know what their request would be. Maya, how often does the coroner investigate a death where it's difficult to find a next of kin? Well, the coroner says about 10 to 20 deaths are people who have no family, so the county are left to make the funeral arrangements. But with this card, they'll be able to carry out their wishes. In Anderson, I'm Maya Payton, WYFF News 4.